Arizona Governor Kitty Hobbs Kerry Lake. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of them. Jeff, Arizona Hot Topics. Arizona election 2022. I'm going to talk in this one about Arizona State Governor Kerry Lake candidate. She's going against Katie Hobbs. I did a video on Katie Hobbs. To stay tuned for that. If you haven't already watched it, I don't know which one I'm going to publish first. But anyhow. So, I want to talk about Kerry Lake and and I'm going to do a comparison. I talked about Katie Hobbs in an interview with Hispanic Chamber and also with Face the Nation. So I'm going to do the same thing with Kerry Lake. Now, Kerry Lake has got incredible amount of experience of talking to people. She has done, she was a news anchor for 27 years here in Arizona, I guess 30 overall. So she, she has a clue on what, on how to act in front of a camera. And granted, a lot of the newscast is all scripted, but sometimes you do have to go on a fly. But Kerry Lake, when I lived in Phoenix, she was also, they, a lot of people would choose her to do speaking engagements. So like when there's a fundraiser or, or when there's some kind of event going on and they need a guest speaker, sometimes she would be that guest speaker. So she knows how to talk to people. And boy, it showed. When you compared Katie Hobbs to Carrie Lake, as I said in the Katie Hobbs one, it was awful. Carrie Lake, wow. Her performance, she was very confident. She was actually controlling. She was, she demanded attention. She didn't just, like, like, like Kitty Hobbs kind of would just, would play along. Like she was just there. But Carrie Lake was like, I'm the focal point. I'm in control. And she drew the audience in. The way that she was talking, she never once did those, as some people call them transitional phrases, I call them thought, thought, phrases where where a lot of people will use words like like I use so a lot or but so us ums likes when they're trying to th form a thought and then they're trying to spit it out they'll they'll say something they might go and that's what I want to say and then they say that you know so they they try a lot of people call it a transitional, but it's, see, so like I just did it because I'm trying to think of what to say next. Carrie Lake doesn't have to. She can think on the fly. When she says something, boom, it comes out. Or when she thinks something, boom, it comes out. So she's well-spoken. Katie Hobbs is not well-spoken. And, and she is, Carrie Lake is so confident that she's willing to take on challenges. She has press conferences all the time. She's always facing the media. And she controls that crowd. She's like, one question, boom, ask that question. You're done, next. So make sure it's a good one. And then when they ask stupid questions, a question that everybody's been asking, one that she's answered a million times, she'll actually tell them. She'll say, you know what? You're not paying. In fact, she did this at, at one of her Ask Me Anything events. Afterwards, there she was talking to the media, and someone asked, and he's like, and she said, weren't you here earlier? I just talked about that. I answered your question earlier today. I'm like, just a few minutes ago, I answered that question. Weren't you here? <laughs> says, well, I'm not going to answer it again because you could just check with your peers because maybe they got the audio on it. It was hilarious. But she, 
she's got confidence. She's she knows what she's talking about. She's she detailed. I noticed that with Katie Hobbs when they were asking her questions about stuff, she she wasn't detailed. It was all it was all universal answers. It was like she was making it up as she went. Carrie Lake had detailed answers. She she had specifics, and and she she had these these points that she needed to make, and and that's and that's a little bit how she kind of controlled it. The room was that she made sure she hit each one because that was her answer. Her answer wasn't just this. Her answer also included these other points too. And because it helped drive the main answer. So a lot of times when you're when you're asking people, you know, a question and you want a yes or no answer, politicians will never give you a yes or no answer. Because they have to justify their answer. They gotta explain it. And I and I get that because I agree, I don't want a yes or no answer from the politician. You know, I I, I really don't care about the yes or no answers. I, I, I want more I want more meat in the answer. Carrie Lake did that. Carrie Lake was really, really good, very confident, very sure of herself, very detailed. She definitely showed her experience in, in dealing with the public. And what what I noticed about in watching a couple of her additional interviews and stuff, she she is willing to listen though. So as much as she's controlling the and a room and all this, and, and wants everyone's attention, she also is willing to stop and she'll listen. She wants other people's input. You know, she, she brought up a good point in, in, in one of her um, Ask Me Anythings where, she's, where she was like, hey, I didn't know this, so I went out and I asked and talked to others, and now I know about it. And, and she said, that's what a reporter does. If a reporter is doing a story on something, they don't know anything about it. You go and you start seeking experts, people who know something about it, so then she can learn, so then she can report on it. And that's exactly what she was, has been doing already when she's been preparing to be governor. She's already coming up with game plans. She's coming up with policies. And because she's already seeking people that she already knows because being in that industry, she knows everyone. But, uh, yeah, I'll put links down below. Um, I'll look it up on YouTube, put some links down below on it. Um, the His Arizona Hispanic Chamber interviewed both of them. Oh, one additional thing. And Face the Nation did both. Katie Hobbs won't debate Carrie Lake. And she won't debate her, but she also won't eat, she didn't even debate her own her own party. Which I thought was really weird. But in that in my other video I'll explain why. But Carrie Lake is like wants to debate. She's like, bring it on. And I like that attitude. She's like, throw it at me, let's see what I can do. And Katie Hobbs will, is like you know, cautious. She's like, oh, don't throw that at me. No, it might hurt me. I may not know what to say. So, anyhow. Those are my two cents. My opinion on the Arizona governor race in 2022. My name is Jeff. You've been watching Arizona Hot Topics. See you by the fun.